I personally, respectfully, don't think that this was a football injury. Um, I think this was um, likely just a, a, a fluke event, a one in a million, if indeed it was this commotion cordis, if they rule out any of the other potential causes and they decide that it really was this trauma to the chest at the at that one millisecond um, that was uh, that, that's a scary time, then it, it really is a one in a million. And, and that's why you you haven't heard of very many cases over your 30 years of covering sports, right? It just doesn't occur very often like that. Um, at the professional level, I think that, um, you know, if you look at the number of athletes, we probably have about 5,000 athletes participating across the country at the professional level. But we have, you know, tens of thousand athletes at the high school level and, and college level and, and below. Uh, obviously, the farther you go up and if you're making your living um, uh, playing a sport, uh, your screenings, your medical exams are, are very thorough. Um, but if you look at our high school kids, we're, we're really stressing, hey, we, we want you to have a good history and a good physical exam from a qualified provider so that we can try to pick up those needle in the haystack, pick up the kids that really are at risk um, so that uh, we can intervene um, and or restrict if needed so that so that something like that doesn't happen. And, and we're able to do that in a lot of cases, um, whether it's sports screenings that our communities are doing or probably more importantly, when a child or a young adult is seen by their primary care provider, their pediatrician or family physician or, or advanced practice provider. So somebody that knows that family, knows that kid and knows the history and can then, you know, help help decide who who needs to be referred to a cardiologist.